Our Xera video series has often stressed both those features that are truly unique to our tool in the world of document review, as well as our ease of use, whether this is reflected in the intuitive interface simplifying how we search, find, display, or just see our data. Thumbnail view is the latest enhancement designed towards helping you gain better insight into your data, resulting in quicker decisions and a quality-driven review. As you'll see here, I've already logged into an Xero system, and we happen to have that familiar grid or list view in front of me. This is how most people are used to working within their review platform, a list of terms with all the various fields sitting across the top. Thumbnail view is designed to be extremely easy and to help give you some quick visual cues into the type of material you're looking at. And you'll find that simply by clicking on the link at the top of the screen here. As I flip into thumbnail view, what you'll see is it renders up all of the documents in my grid, however I got there, from a search, inside of a folder, out of a batch, etc., and displays up the first page of all of those documents to allow me to visually see what it is I'm dealing with. This works with both natives as well as images, so if you happen to be working in a hybrid database, for example, your images will show up in here as well. As you can see, as this gives me my field names, or I should say my file names, you'll see these are all natives in this particular glimpse at my data set. Interestingly enough as well, this also ties into our document groups functionality. So if you happen to have a groups database, and this is whereby you'll have something that may have been um, processed outside of an Xero system in a tool like Equivio. One of our integration partners is a great example, whereby they'll hand you Equiset fields and things of that nature. You can use that information to turn on a feature in Xero called Document Groups, which essentially groups and links all of this material together. So when I run searches, open up folders, create batches, etc., those groups are, in fact, kept together. All the results are always in one place. You'll see here, much like in a grid view where all the items are linked together. The color-coded bar lets me know this is a standalone document. The long purple bar sitting here underneath, purple of course because that's the color scheme we've set up our Xera, lets me know I happen to have a parent email and the next series of documents are all attachments that went along with that versus another group of documents, email with an attachment, etc. So all of the functionality we're used to working with out of a grid carries over inside of my thumbnail view. A few other key things that tie in so it works exactly the way you're used to working out of those familiar list views. The ability to come in and multi-select documents. I can simply hold down my control key, say these are the documents right here I want to take a look at, and I could effectively swipe on over and it brings up only that subset or collection of data to work through in a document mode and apply coding, etc. As well, working with these, if I was to flip back into my grid mode, you'll see these are all very much tied into each other. If I was to opt to come in and apply something like a mass action, mass coding, mass find replace, bulk exports, etc., I can do that here at this subset of data. So our thumbnail view carries over, once again, all of the exact same functionality we're used to dealing with, but it gives me the added benefit of a visual cue to a document. Imagine a work case scenario whereby one of the attorneys comes in and says, hey, I'm looking for a particular document. I remember I saw it. It had a blue cover on it. Um, I just don't remember what it was called. It's sitting somewhere in one of my folders. Well, as opposed to one by one going through my documents, which is a nice, quick, easy way to see and to find that material. This also ties in very nicely with the new drag and drop functionality. As you see here, I happen to have a number of documents that I've gone and selected, and I can essentially drag over to my folder tree, and we'll see here, next to my little icon, I happen to have my add to folder icon, we keep the consistency in place, and it lets me know I have the number four, how many documents I'm actually carrying over. And I can dump all of those then into one of my folders or coding parameters. As you can see, 
The new thumbnail view is ideal for providing a quick glance at documents and identifying those that meet specific review criteria. This intuitiveness is also evident with the recently added drag and drop foldering. Preliminary feedback from our users indicates that these features will dramatically increase work rate and review speeds. All from Xera, the platform that works the way you think.